bridge. Man, it's such a cool thing. So uh, I came up with a few parts, I'll show you, and then I'll give you like three different ways to play this. Like for the sake of time, I won't go through like everything the second time around with the key change. I mean, I'll go through that, but like with each each different one, like I'll give you to play it with open chords if you want to play it up here. And then I'll give you kind of more what's on the record with like the, you know, that kind of stuff. And then um, we'll do another one that's more like a Jimi Hendrix kind of like. Like a. All that kind of stuff. Chord embellishment kind of stuff, right? So um, we'll start out with the intro, right? You have. G to C, you just got to find a G that's higher than the C, right? It's doing like, that wouldn't sound right. So I just, I just come up to 10 on A and then 8 on the low E string. You got a bass player, you don't have to worry about that. Just kind of palm muted. And then you have the intro riff. And I watched him play this on this Motown documentary I saw. And like, uh, he was just doing this as an exercise and Barry Gordy heard him. And he's like, hey man, that's the, the lick we need, the intro for the song we're doing. And he's like, man, this dinky old thing, this is just an exercise. And he hates, like to this day, he hates that it was put on this track, right? And I watched him play it, and he doesn't play any open strings, right? He doesn't go. He, he frets everything. So you'll have a three, to, it'll go. Right? And then he kind of palm mutes certain notes, lets other notes ring out more. So you have three five on A, okay, and then you kind of sit on the first note for a second, and then D is your pickup, okay, then you just go two to five on D, two to five on G, and you kind of palm mutes the D on the, the first time, you just have to kind of listen to it, right, and then we go one, three five on the low e and then three to five on a and then land on three on d so all together you would have all right and then underneath that you have the verse chords right so first i'll do like just the more of the motown kind of thing go C major to F major, right? We're going to bar up here on the 8th fret, bar all the 8, 10, 10, 9, and we're going to play the F like this. We're going to do the C-shaped F, right? So bar 5 from A down, put your pinky on uh, the A string on 8th fret, D on 7, G will be on 5, and then your middle finger will be on 6th fret B string. And the reason I'm playing it this way is because if I, if I were to play it here, well, on the C major, I'm already getting at the bottom, right? And if I play the F right below it, it sounds, you know, different because I'm changing the chord, but I'm still getting, I'm still getting that to ring out, right? So I want there to be more distinction. So instead of playing, which is just fine, I, I just like to go. You kind of have a high to low kind of thing, right? So you just go back and forth. You kind of hit the bass. Give it those little treble uh, stabs at the bottom. All right? So it just goes C to F four times. Okay, then it'll change and you get your C major. And you can play it down here, right? I'm all about changing like the timber and just trying to do different things so things don't always sound the same when you're moving around, right? So we'll do the C here, three, five, five, five. We're gonna go D minor. Now on some of these minor chords, you could play a minor seven. It'll sound okay. You know, he might even be playing a minor seven, but I play it against it and they both sound good. So just know on the minor chords, you can do a seven if you want to on any of these, right? So you have C major, D minor, F major, okay, then G major. So you got three, five, 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 seven, seven, six, 
8, 10, 10, 10, 10, 12, 12, 12, right? So you just repeat that, you go do that twice. Okay, then there's that my girl part, right? And you can play C major, or you could play like a C major 7 if you wanted to. You know, you could be like... could do that or you could just play a regular C major it's a D minor right okay so that would just be uh, three five 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 to five seven seven six All right my girl my girl G twice, and then you're gonna go walk it up from F back to G. So you got okay, F F G G, and then you're back to C. All right, doing that again, and then that all repeats, and then you get the bridge part, which is just gonna be C to F twice. You know, it's a. Da -da -da. minor to G major right and you can kind of play with the rhythm more like with what the horns are doing if you want to it all kind of depends on if you're playing by yourself or if you have other people playing with you you can take more liberties and play more or play less whatever you want to do right so that whole walk up part after C to F twice you'll have a D minor and you can play it here you want to do the G major yeah let's play it down here because we're gonna walk up to that E minor we want that to sound higher right so we're gonna go D minor G major E minor to A major right so the whole bridge is uh change keys and everything's the same it's the same chord structure if you know like your your major scale Nashville numbers type of thing the one four five all that stuff it's the same thing we're just going one to four but we're doing it up a whole step in the key of D right so then we're just gonna go D to G right and you can play this a number of different ways you can just go You could also come up here and play it up here. You could also do it, you know, whatever you like, you know, just it's the same pattern as the one before. This is what I was saying, like I'll go over it, but I don't want to go over every single like chord when the key change, because it's the same thing, you know. So like when we're playing down here and we have uh, that C to F, but when you go up a whole step, it's the same thing, just D to G, right? So it all it's all the same, and then it just goes D to G, and then same thing. You have your D major, E minor, G major, A major. So you can just go five seven 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 E minor seven nine nine eight G ten twelve 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 A and again you can play these anywhere. I just like that kind of high pitch sound with it, right? So you could, I mean, you can go like. Uh, you know, if you want to do that, do that. Doesn't matter. It's all gonna sound good, right? And then just repeats that twice, and then you get into the my girl thing, right? And you can just play a D major, T minor.
back into it. It's D D minor and then that G to A thing. So sorry if that's confusing, but um there's some other stuff I was wanting to get into. So that's like if you want to play it with the bar chord stuff, right? And then the thing I did in the bridge, I'll go ahead and show you that. I'm raking into a C chord, a C triad, right? You have a uh, 10 on D, 9 on G, 8 on the B. Alright. So we're going to rake down and then hit the high E string on 8. And then we're going to hit 8 on B. And we're going to catch the C up here on the B string, right? So you get. And then we're going to go back to 10 and pull off to 8. And then get G on 10. So you get. And then repeat it. Okay. Then we're going to go to a D minor triad. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to rake in 776 DGB. Hit it twice. And then we're going to slide in. It's kind of like uh, it's kind of like that little wing thing, you know. So you have seven on G, eight on B, sliding into nine and ten. G on nine, ten on B, and then just slide back, right? And then you're gonna come up to the E minor, two frets up on a nine and eight. Do the same thing. D G on nine, eight on the B. Same thing, and then slide in a uh, nine on G, ten on B, up to eleven on G, twelve on B, and then just slide back. So you'll have uh, all together. go if you want to follow it I think it sounds good just stopping and have to the slide okay so that's that part and then um, if you wanted to do like a Jimmy thing you could do like little chord embellishments right so if we're going C to F you could play it up here or you can play it down here, right? If we're down here, you just go three, five, 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 right? And then we're gonna play inside of the C major pentatonic, which is basically your A minor, right? Your, rel your relative. So you can just noodle around in here after the chord, so. come up here and play the F up here. You know, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, you could just go up two frets and just do a lick. Like a five to seven slide in. Double stop on 5-5, five, five, D and G. Hammer on and off the D on 7 to 5. Slide off the 7. Then go to your F. You can just play a thumb in the bass. 3, 2, 1, 1. And then slide in on the low E, 3 to 5. And then hit the uh, A and D on 3. Hammer off on uh, 5 on A and then hit 5 on the low E and slide off. Okay, and the same thing, like when you walk it up, you could go like, you know, I guess you say... You could do that. That's a real quick change. It's a good practice. So you could go like C, 
and then slide in five to seven, and then hit uh, five on the D and G, and play your D minor chord, and then hammer on and off with your pinky on eight on the B, and then hit the G string on five, so you get, and come up to F on eight and ten. Okay, and then slide in 10 to 12 on the A, and then catch uh, D and G on 10. Then we're going to play G, 10, 12, 12, 12, and then we'll go just bar 12 on the B and E, or G and B, and hammer on the G on 14 and the B on 13. So you'd have real slow. finish it different you could you could even go like you could do all sorts of things right you can finish it like that just bar g and b hammer on the hammer on and off the 14 on the g slide off 14 on the d Or you could just do the slide into A on the 12 to 14, and then catch D and G on 12. So you could finish it three different ways. You could go. Or you could go. that there's all you know you could do more you could go there's all sorts of things you know it's just endless but I just wanted to kind of give you some ideas of other ways you could play some stuff and then if you just want to play the open chords you have C to F for the verse right three two open one open to F you got a thumb on bass then you got three two one one that's four times and then the walk up you get C D minor F to G the D minor is open D two on G three on B one on the high E and then you go to, back to F then to G three two open 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 three okay repeat okay then uh, play C and you can play it with G in the bass it sounds good so you got three, three, two, open, one, open. Okay. And then to the micro. You could play a D minor seven again. You could play open, two on the G, one, one. You could go back and forth. Okay. Or you could just play, you know, a regular D minor. Whichever, whatever you think sounds best. G, then up to F, back to G, and then you're on home back to C, right? It all repeats. Same thing with the bridge. C to F twice, then you have D minor, G, E minor, A. change same thing D to G four times D to G right and then the walk up D E minor G A D E minor G A my girl, my girl, my girl. D major then you go to E minor talk about my girl. okay then you have A my girl. Go from G to A back. All right, and then there's this this walk down that he finishes with, right? When you get uh, it'll go uh, that's what it ends with, and he'll do this A to G major, F sharp minor to E minor, so it'll end like a. Uh, 
And I think he ends it that way every time, and it finishes out the song that way, right? So you got five, seven, seven, six for A major, three, five, five, four for G major, um, all of two, and then four on A and D for F sharp minor, and then open two, two, all open for E minor. And then back to D to resolve, right? So that's everything. Um, sorry if this was like really long or confusing. I was just trying to give you different ideas instead of just playing C to F, you know, if you wanted to do some other things, if you wanted to do some cool riffs or whatever. There's a lot of room to have fun in there. And that's just kind of the tip of the iceberg. There's all sorts of stuff. You could do all, all sorts of licks. Just, um, you know, mess around, have fun, kind of find your own voice with it. And uh, if you want to sound like the recording, you got to tune up a little bit, right? They're tuned up like a quarter step. That old school kind of tape warble is going on. So you have to tune up a little bit to match the record. So I forgot to mention that. But that's everything. Just uh, practice slow. Have fun. <laughs>